Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 98. That is, what are scrum ceremonies? Let me answer. Before I explain what exactly are these scrum ceremonies, we have to first understand the meaning of ceremonies. Ceremonies means meetings. So scrum ceremonies means scrum meetings. So what are these scrum meetings or scrum ceremonies? Let me explain. Different projects follow different SDLC models like some projects will follow waterfall SDLC model, okay? For building the software and producing the software into the market, some projects may follow waterfall model. Some projects may follow prototyping SDLC model. Some projects iterative incremental, spiral model, V model, agile model, RAD model, and big bang models. Okay, these are the different SDLC models followed by the projects for delivering the software into the market, for building and delivering the software into the market. So agile is one of these SDLC models. Under agile, we have different methodologies. We can call we can also call these methodologies as frameworks, okay? Agile has different methodologies or frameworks, that is Scrum methodology or framework, Kanban methodology, Lean methodology, Extreme Programming, Crystal FDD, DSDM, and other methodologies and frameworks are part of this Agile SDLC model, okay? So in that, Scrum is the number one in the market. So under this Scrum methodology of Agile SDLC model, there are different ceremonies, okay? Ceremonies are nothing but meetings, right? So there are different meetings conducted in this during this Scrum methodology, Agile Scrum methodology projects, okay? So what are these different ceremonies we have in this Agile Scrum methodology? We have different meetings like ceremonies like sprint planning meeting, daily Scrum meeting, sprint review meeting, and sprint retrospective meeting, okay? I'll show you the diagram. So as you can see here, this is a Agile Scrum methodology diagram. As you can see, I can increase the size if you want. So this is Agile Scrum methodology guys as you can see here there is a bar here in the bottom right the entire agile scrum methodology guys so in that you see there are four meetings okay four ceremonies what are these four ceremonies one of them is sprint planning meeting or ceremony then we have daily scrum meeting or ceremony then we have sprint review meeting and sprint retrospective meeting so when is the sprint planning meeting conducted in this agile scrum methodology so you see before the sprint starts okay before the sprint starts. Sprint is nothing but what? Sprint is nothing but an iteration, having some duration like uh, one to four weeks. In that, in that one to four weeks of uh, given time or duration, the agile team, that is development team, that is developers and testers, have to complete their work, okay? In that sprint, having a duration of one to four weeks, the development team, that is developers and testers, have to complete the assigned work, right? So before this particular sprint is uh, started, what happens is the product owner, the product owner who actually maintains this product backlog containing a list of uh, user stories and all, okay? So this product owner will conduct a meeting, okay? Will conduct a meeting known as sprint planning meeting. So this meeting along with the product owner who will attend development team, that is developers and testers in Agile, uh, Agile Scrum, right? We'll call development team, that is developers and testers as development team. So there is no separate words like developers and testers. So the developers and testers will attend this sprint planning meeting along with the product owner. So in that meeting, the product owner will put the list of stories they have to, the development team or agile team has to complete by the end of the sprint, okay? So the product owner will put all the stories that the development team has to complete by the end of the sprint. Before the sprint starts, this meeting will happen, sprint planning meeting will happen. So the development team has to evaluate, okay? whether or estimate whether this much amount of work assigned by the product owner to the sprint for the development team to complete by the end of the sprint is achievable or not, the development team has to think and has to discuss with the product owner, okay? Has to negotiate with the product owner to see whether if more, if the product owner is overburdening the development team, then development team has to mention that to the product owner saying that, okay, this is too much of work. We cannot do this much of work, okay? Can you? Uh, can you decrease the amount of work and can you reduce or something, okay? So like that, some discussions will happen in the sprint planning meeting and the product owner and development team has to agree with the estimates, okay? The product owner will give some estimates according to the amount of work that need to be completed by the end of the sprint. Product owner will give estimates to the stories and that estimates need to be accepted by the development team in the sprint planning meeting. So at the end of the sprint planning meeting, product owner and development team will get a clarity on uh, how many stories are getting assigned, okay? How much amount of work is being assigned to the sprint, okay? 
so this print planning meeting happens before the print begins so after the print planning meeting according to the agreed things okay the product owner product owner will move the list of user stories to the sprint backlog based on the decision taken in the sprint planning meeting okay whatever the development team has agreed right to work that amount of work will be assigned by the product owner to this sprint backlog fine this is what happens in the sprint planning meeting now let's say the sprint work started the development and team and testing team started working on the stories that are assigned by the product owner to the sprint backlog so these stories that are assigned to sprint backlog need to be completed by the end of the sprint right development team that is developers and testers have to complete this so user stories by the end of the sprint so but but the problem here here is there will be multiple people working on this and uh, you know right uh, the things may go wrong right the team development team may not be able to complete the task by the end of the sprint okay because uh, maybe the team work will be missing or some problem blocks will blocker blockers will come during that uh, uh, work while they are working on a sprint some blockers will come some problems will happen okay development team and testing team has to focus only on the work but because of some blockers or because of some uh, problems in the team work some people performing some people not performing or whatever it is uh, due to some xyz reasons the work that is assigned to the sprint properly estimated work that is assigned to the sprint may not be completed by the end of the sprint to avoid this problem okay to avoid this problem the second type of meeting comes into picture known as daily scrum meeting okay it is also called as daily stand up meeting daily, daily scrum meeting or daily stand up meeting so this particular daily stand up meeting will be conducted by another role in the agile scrum methodology that is scrum master okay there will be scrum master who will be who will be conducting this daily scrum meeting that to every day okay uh, while the sprint is uh, while the particular sprint has started every day of the sprint for example the duration of the sprint is 2 uh, weeks that is 10 working days in each and every 10 working days that is um, continuously 10 days every day at same time okay the scrum master will conduct a meeting known as daily scrum meeting all this development team that is developers and testers have to attend this daily scrum meeting okay so it will not be for more time guys it will be just for uh, 10 to 15 minutes uh, so and all the team will be standing that's why it's called as daily stand up meeting the scrum master will be presenting okay the list of stories that the team has to complete and uh, he'll be showcasing the burn down chart if required and uh, the scrum master in this daily scrum meeting uh, will check with the development team individual development and uh, testers okay he will check to see where they are standing okay how much amount of work they completed what exactly they are working now uh, is there any work pending is any work delaying okay what they are going to do next whether this team can complete the things on time all this scrum master will inquire with the development team and uh, if the team is lagging if team is not going well okay the scrum master will get to know all these things from the burn down chart okay so where he'll identify that uh, whether the team is on track or not whether they can can complete the things on time or not by the end of the sprint or not he will come to know if the things are not going well scrum master will take the necessary actions okay he will give the solutions he will talk to the different people and make the things possible and uh, he will he indirectly push the development team in completing the work on time okay he will resolve the issues in the team and he'll he'll make sure that the work goes smooth and uh, can be completed in time okay that's what is a scrum master and he will conduct uh, the another uh, agile scrum ceremony known as uh, daily scrum that is a daily stand up meeting or ceremony okay so this is what is the importance of the daily scrum okay which happens daily during the sprint every day during the sprint fine now the uh, another agile scrum ceremony we have is a sprint review okay sprint review meeting so this meeting will be conducted at the end of the sprint guys okay sprint review meeting generally happens at the end of the sprint before the sprint ends almost at the climax level or ending level of the sprint guys okay so the development team has to showcase okay whatever the work the development team has done that is developers and testers have done in this agile scrum methodology that particular user stories are work done by them the developers and testers have to demo them okay to the stakeholders and product owner okay the required uh, stakeholders and product owners the development team has to showcase their work okay the demo their work once the product owner accepts the stories okay uh, accept the work done by this development team then only the sprint will be completed okay here there is one checkpoint right it is a checkpoint check post kind of thing where the work will not be directly pushed by the development team that is a developer and testers can cannot simply say that my work is completed okay our work is complete they cannot simply say that they have to demo their work to the 
product owner and product owner is the one who has to accept the work okay he has to go through he has to review the work done by the development team during the sprint and he has to accept that then only the work will be treated as completed definition of done you can say and uh, to to actually uh, demo the work to the product owner uh, and stakeholders and uh, for the product owner and stake stakeholders to accept the work they will conduct a meeting the product owner will conduct a meeting known as sprint review meeting in which the product owner will review the work that is done by the development team okay from the starting of the sprint till the time of the ending of the sprint okay so that is what is sprint review meeting so let's say the sprint has completed successfully the sprint has completed successfully at the end of the sprint before the next sprint starts okay after this sprint ends and another sprint will start okay in agile scrum methodology the work will happen in a iterative fashion in an incremental model okay so after first iteration that is first sprint second sprint will start after second sprint third sprint will start like multiple work will happen in multiple sprints each and every sprint will have a duration of two weeks okay one to four weeks uh, if you take most of the projects follow two weeks there is 10 working days okay so at the end end of the every sprint there will be one more meeting conducted known as sprint retrospective meeting okay scrum master will be conducting a meeting known as sprint retrospective meeting where all the people in the team will attend this sprint retrospective meeting where these guys will discuss okay these people will discuss in the sprint after the end of the sprint before the next sprint starts the sprint in the sprint retrospective meeting will be conducted in between the sprints and in this sprint retrospective meeting the they will be the team will be discussing what went well in the uh, the completed sprint okay just now completed sprint what went well what didn't went well in this sprint okay and what are the improvements we have to make in the next sprint so that the mistakes will not be repeated such kind of things will be discussed in a sprint retrospective meeting okay they will discuss on what went well in the sprint what didn't went till the completed sprint and what are the improvements we have to make sure uh, make uh, or implement in the next sprint so that we'll get be better results or will not face any problems okay that is what happens in the sprint retrospective which is the final agile scrum ceremony okay so we have four agile scrum ceremonies that is sprint planning meeting daily scrum meeting sprint review meeting and sprint retrospective meeting so hope guys you understood what are scrum ceremonies that is agile scrum ceremonies now so that's all for this session the next session i am going to answer another software testing interview question for you till then see you bye bye